finally the devs got something right they've buffed everybody they've buffed everything they've buffed absolutely everything in the game for all the classes and it's absolutely fantastic what's up guys warlug here welcome back to the channel we are going to get into the past shows today and show you why every class has got buffed and more importantly why nightmare dungeons are now the new meta for farming let's get into it so as you guys know we have been waiting and waiting and waiting for the new patch to come we've been waiting they've been talking about this patch we haven't got anything in a, in a while now and we got a big you know update for maintenance today on tuesday which is today for about four hours or so i'm not sure how long the servers were down but we finally finally got the patch and we're going to go over all of the patch notes okay so there's a lot of things here that i want to go over and just kind of showcase here and just kind of cover briefly i'm not going to go into in depth i'm going to leave the link to all this down in the description guys but in the first part of the patch there's just a bunch of bug fixes gameplay fixes co-op fixes quest fixes which i guess people were having issues with the ui for especially for on console and this some miscellaneous stuff they saved all the juicy stuff down on the bottom so let's get right into this okay first and foremost the big gameplay adjustments the experience rewards we already briefly knew about this i'm going to swap over we already briefly knew about this coming into the uh end game here or excuse me from the last dev campfire stream where significantly increased the experience reward for completing nightmare dungeons it's about dang time because nightmare dungeons were absolutely worthless right so now that they increased the exp for the nightmare dungeons now we should be able to do those instead of normal dungeons for farming our characters next significantly increase the experience gain from killing monsters in nightmare dungeons oh about dang time blizzard thank you Helltide chests now provide substantially more bonus when open. This is awesome because farming not only the, you know, the, uh, what is it? The big chest for the, the mysterious chest for 175, but just other ones in general, just to get a few rewards. This is a big dub here. Significantly increase the reward experience for completing individual whispers across the board. This is actually kind of interesting because I don't think that anybody ever was complaining about the amount of XP you got from doing the tree of whispers for turn-ins i just don't think people were necessarily doing a lot of them so it's a really good thing to see that they've increased this to kind of encourage people to do them more so i kind of like that fix an issue where there is no experience awarded for completing the hold out style event that can occur from finishing dungeon objectives now let's go ahead and go check out the uh rewards here so we're inside here i want to go over exactly how this works so what they did was is they come in normally for the nightmare dungeons if you guys weren't aware i'm just gonna end up wasting one here which is completely fine let me waste the 21. so i can't even do that so what you do is you would pop a dungeon all right you open up your map it's gonna bring you to the dungeon right and you're like crap now i have to travel there this really sucks okay well you know the closest you know waypoint i have is this one or this one there is one right here on the map guys but it's behind a stronghold i just haven't done it but it's still like crap now i gotta teleport here then i gotta travel all the way here going and do the dungeon well not only do you get the increase but now what you do is you just click to travel we're gonna tp and this is absolutely fantastic you don't have to do anything but that it is crazy crazy convenient and a big huge quality fix now look now i'm at the dungeon i'm right outside it and i can go in and just do this fantastic big dub blizzard way to freaking go okay now next on the list we have general the hell time roaming boss will now consistently drop higher quality loot uh I th yeah this was a huge problem because i don't think people wanted to fight the hell tide roaming boss because Although the fight is really cool and I enjoyed it, you just didn't really get loot, so it's really cool to see that. Players now can teleport directly to their uh, Nightmare Dungeon through the map, which is what we just did. Weekly bonus caches from World Bosses no longer have a level requirement for opening. Developer note, we are currently working on increasing the monster and elite density of in-game content to plan to introduce changes in Season 1. This is huge. Real quick, we're going to go back to this, but this is absolutely fantastic because a huge, huge problem with the game is once you get to end game and really anything past 75 you don't get necessarily a huge power boost and it really makes playing the game very difficult and just a, an all-out sludge to 100. even for a hardcore gamer like myself it's just a sludge so let's go in and check out the weekly bonuses here because i want to show you guys so we're going to teleport back to kovashad 
I have four caches from world bosses in world tier four. Now, previously what it was is that I had to be at least level 80 to open these caches. Now, according to the update bug fix, now I should be able to open these because it no longer requires a level requirement. So let's go to my sort page. Boom, 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 boom. These used to be locked. They used to be locked. However, I do know that there was a big change in fix that they did with these because apparently what was happening is people would get uh, lower level. So like world tier uh, like two or world tier three world boss caches come to world tier four and open them and you would get better gear. They fixed that and now they have fixed this. Even though I'm only 77, I no longer have to be uh, level 80 to open these, which is just awesome. So we're going to go ahead and pop these right now. Let's go ahead and pop one amulet pop another one a ring pop another one a ring or a staff pop another one a ring so we got one ancestral and three sacreds which just you know kind of sucks and then we got some nightmare sigils which is really just really really cool and then some gems which is awesome so let's see if anything was actually really good uh ball lightning uh ooh, a crit while you're healthy uh cool all right so that's how that works. Super big dub for uh, Blizzard on that front. I actually find that really, really nice. Now, balance changes. Let's get into the bread and butter because I know everybody's here for this. So for the longest time, we have had Barbarian nerfs in and out. We've had Druid nerfs in and out. We've had Necro just being the worst possible class in the game, arguably. And then they've been nerfing Rogue and then they've been made Sorcerer Blizzard insane. So let's check out what they said. Developers note, we are continuing our efforts to make all class builds feel fun and powerful with another round of balance updates. In particular, we've seen the community feedback stating that basic skills aren't impactful. This is true. In combat, these changes will not be the fundamental relationship between basic and core skills, but we hope that they will help smooth out the leveling experience. So basically, like there's a firewall build for Sork, there's some ice builds, there's some other builds that just don't even require basic attacks, which just kind of sucks and or core skills in general just to balance between the two we are also increasing the power of some skills players feel are lagging behind this is a huge issue because previously we've had builds where it's like one skill for example i'm gonna use rogue here twisting blades is the end all be all like there's some good range builds and flurry is good i prefer flurry but it's just like some of the other skills are just not as strong as just twisting blades in general so it makes like playing other builds feel lackluster especially towards the end game as we look forward to the future updates we are monitoring monitor, monitoring other heavily discussed topics such as minion survivability and build uh parity so yeah minions suck for uh, necro we've been talking about this for a while it's absolute garbage it's kind of funny that the only build that just evolves around pets the best builds require no pets you guessed it please continuing sending us your feedback okay so they broke it down here this is the last bit of it so i'm gonna leave the link down here we're just gonna briefly go over things i don't want to make the video too long but i'm gonna tell you everything gets buffed everything gets buffed lunging strike base damage is increased fury generated increased bash everything is increased frenzy increased flay increased 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 double wing or double swing increased everything is increased guys not one thing that i have seen has been nerfed everything has been buffed everything they give some really good nice developer notes here for things but everything has just been buffed i mean for every single class every single class has buffs which is just awesome this is huge because for the end game guys you're gonna you're gonna feel a bigger power spike which is just better and it's gonna allow for other builds to be really really strong I'm going to show you right now my favorite buff, guys. My favorite buff right now. You see, guys see it right here. Hurricane base damage increased to 134%. Come on, it doesn't get any better than that. 13 damage. Get out of here. Everything's buffed, guys. Ab absolutely everything. This is a monster, monster update. Monster update. Everything has really been buffed. I'm not going to pick out anything too nuts because everything has been absolutely buffed. And we have to get in there and test a lot of things. But you guys can see that just everything buff 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 this one's huge heart seeker damage increased to 75 percent that's a big jump i mean just everything cooldown reduced on rain of arrows even though nobody plays rain of arrows volley oh my god you know quarter damage bonus increased passives the biggest takeaway i love from all of these is not only like 
some skills like Frostbolt's base damage has been increased by 3%. Like, that's nice. But the fact that they've done passives, passive skills have been buffed. And more importantly, some aspects got buffed too. A lot of these things are really, really strong and just make things even better. Like the slow amount, up to 60%. Yeah, we get CC'd and just die. They need to get CC'd and die. You know, incendiary mana. Oh my gosh, and buffed. My firewall build's insane. I mean, everything is just so much better, guys. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description below to break down all of these balance changes. But I can tell you right now, what a huge update. I'm really excited to go test out a lot of the changes for each class. I'm more excited to now farm or nightmare dungeons. I almost said hell tides. I'm really, really excited to farm nightmare dungeons. The reason that nightmare dungeons are just so much better for everything is because now it that's the true end game, as we all know. So doing nightmare dungeons is the end game. So we should be getting more exp and more importantly it makes it definitely worth it when we're trying to farm our glyphs this is just the the biggest end game here like although getting them to 15 is the is the end all because getting them to 21 doesn't give you necessarily a bigger boost just getting them to 15 is the big deal but now we can do end game like it's supposed to be designed by blizzard we shouldn't be farming our normal dungeons so now we're doing nightmare dungeons and this is big dubs. Now I do want to say there's still a lot of things that need to be fixed in the game, guys. I'm not just riding blizzard. Like they, they're just, you know, doing so great, but buffing every single class, big win, fixing not only the nightmare dungeons for teleportation, right? But then giving us more EXP for monsters and completing the nightmare dungeons, huge. Because now we get to experience the end game truly before season one, which is awesome because it's going to develop a whole bunch of new strategies for us, guys. So make sure to like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about all of these changes and please subscribe. Don't forget that. And as, as always, I'm so excited, guys. I'm like blabbering here. As always, stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.